Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to protect your password and keep everything in one secure place using an app called 1Password. So I use dozens of different apps and I'm sure you do too and remembering a bunch of different passwords is always hard to do. 1Password creates a master password and then you could use that to access what's called a vault and all your other passwords are secure right in there. So we'll go through the setup in this video. I have a link in the description. Go ahead and click that and it'll bring you here where you could download 1Password for the first time. So let me go ahead and get started and show you what it's all about. So this used to be free. I used to have it for five years or so and it used to be free. After it stopped being free, I looked into it and I tried a bunch of different password apps and none of them really were anywhere near this. So for $2.99 a month, I think it's worth having this. It's made my life a lot easier and more secure. But there's a 30 day free trial, so you could always go with that. And if you're a business or a team, they have that option as well. So let me go ahead and do the free trial here. I'm just gonna go ahead and start this from scratch to show you the whole process. I do have to add a credit card because after 30 days, it will start charging you unless you cancel before that. And the last page is choose a master password. Now this is the one that you want to make very secure and you wanna make sure you don't lose this. So go ahead and choose a secure password and make sure you don't lose it. Go ahead and write it down somewhere. And if you start typing, it can suggest a password and it says Chrome will save this to your Google account and you won't have to remember it. So it's up to you if you wanna use the suggest a password or write something that you're gonna remember here. Next, it's gonna give you a secret key. Now you wanna download this secret key and make sure you don't lose this secret key. There we go, it's gonna give you some recommendations to keeping it safe, like printing it or putting it in a place like Dropbox, your secure Dropbox personal folder. I'm gonna say got it. And now I'm on one password for the first time. Now there are mobile apps on Android and iOS, I'll show you that in a bit, but right here is the best way to start on a browser extension and start from here. That's why I walk you through the sequence in the way I did. Once you get here, you wanna do a couple of different things. You want to go ahead and get the apps. So go ahead and click that and it will walk you through how to get the different apps. So you got it for Mac, you got it for iOS, Android, Windows, and so on. So I'll just go ahead and get it for the Mac here. I'm on a Mac here, but you could do it for the Windows and then later I'll show you the mobile versions. Now it's gonna take you to this page. Now you don't wanna start your trial if you already went through the browser to sign up. So you wanna say use onepassword.com. Go ahead and click that. Scan your setup code, you could press that, and it's gonna use your camera basically to scan the setup code. That's all you need to do. And it's gonna fill your information here, and it's gonna ask for your master key. So that's the one you set up before. Go ahead and type that in. And there you go, now you have it on your Mac. So you could go through the process and download some of the other ones here, and you could use the scan code to scan it on your phone or your different devices. So now I'm gonna click the icon right on the top left here to take me to the home page here. And you could just go ahead for your second step, go to open my vault. So I'm still gonna show you on the browser so you don't get confused with the apps. We have the app now, but I'm gonna show you how to set it up in the browser still. So on here, you could always press plus and you could create a new login and you could basically type whatever information you want to here. I have all these different options. So bank accounts, document, email servers, all these things I could create. So if I wanted to put a credit card, I could go ahead and type that. This is a manual way of doing things and adding it to this vault, but I don't actually want to do this. Let me show you a much better way to save passwords here on a browser. I'm going to go back to the apps here where I downloaded the Mac app and I want to get a browser extension. So in this case, I'm going to get the Chrome extension. If you're using different browsers, you could search for one password browser extension here and add it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my Chrome. Now it's gonna ask me to sign in. So once you log into the process here, you'll have a new icon on top here. It's called 1Password. If you click it, it will pull up your 1Password and it will allow you to basically go to different websites and it will generate the passwords and it will fill them out for you. So let me show you how that works. Let me just go to google.com here and I'm totally signed out here. I'm gonna click sign in here. I have multiple accounts on my Google. They're all signed out. I'm gonna just choose one of them here. And now I have my password icon here. This is gonna show up anywhere where you're gonna be required to put in a password. So if I click this icon here, 
I could either go ahead and log in or create a password generator to create a password. Now in this case, I wanna save this login with the password I already have. So what I wanna do is type in my regular password and say save login. And then I could go ahead and give it a title and put it in my vault here. So Google, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. So now if I go to a different website and if I go to my password manager here right on top, I could go to login here and it remembered the Google login I did. So if I could just press go there, it's just gonna take me directly to Google to sign in. Again, I could choose my accounts and automatically it remembered my password. I didn't even have to type it in and skip that step this time. So now every time I go to Google, especially if I had one account, it would automatically be there. I won't have to do anything to get to this point. So same thing with my Facebook account. When I go to Facebook to log in, it's gonna ask to save that in the one password, my Facebook ID here. So I'm gonna go Facebook personal save. And now if I go to that same place, I could see that I could now sign in with Facebook that simply, if I go to a different page here and I come back to my password vault here and I'll just go back to logins here and now Facebook has been added. So if I press go, it automatically jump into Facebook. So when you build this out and you do this with all the different apps that you use, this will get filled up and it will be a great shortcut to jump in from one app to another app. Let me go back to the one password manager to show you one more thing. There are different vaults also that you could create. So if I press new vault, you could have a personal vault like the one I have here and you could have a business vault. So the business one could be created here and all my things that I use for business could be added to that vault. So every time you use something for personal, you could throw it in here for business, throw it in here. Let me go back to my personal vault. And now I have three different accounts, basically. I have my one pass account that my master password created, my Facebook and my Google account that I created. Let me go to a website I don't have an account for. So this website, for example. So I'll just go ahead and register a new account. I don't have an account here. So I'll just go ahead and type in my email here. And now for password, instead of typing in the password, I'm gonna click the password icon here. And I'm gonna have it generate a password for me, password generator. And it's gonna suggest it, and it's gonna ask me now to create this login for my one pass. So social blade, and I could put it in the business vault now I just created. Press save, no, and now I'm not a robot. And now I could go ahead and register that account. So now here on my one pass, I have one item under business. Let me go ahead and click that. And that's the social blade account I just created. So under social blade, I have my account. I just showed you how to create. And the last thing I wanted to show you is on a mobile app, you basically want to download this and have it do all these things for you automatically here too. So if you look up one pass here, I'm on a iOS device, but on the Android, it's the same app. Go ahead and download and open the app and here it's gonna ask you for a master folder. In this case, it has a face ID as well. So if I type, if I just click password, it's gonna log in. And this is my actual account here. So it has everything that I've ever used, the autofill password on all the different websites that I shop for, all my social media, hence why I'm blurring all these different accounts. I just wanted to show you all these active accounts here to show that I've been using 1Pass for a long time. But here, you're not gonna have as many options here. For example, on Amazon, if I press I, it's gonna show me my username and password and I could copy that and take it to my Amazon, but it's gonna autofill all those accounts for you so you don't have to worry. But you don't have all those manual controls that you have on the browser and the app version on the Mac. If you've never used the app on the mobile device, when you launch it, it's gonna look like this. So you don't wanna try the free trial because you've already set it up. You wanna do onepassword.com again here. I'm gonna click that. It says scan setup code. I could just go ahead and use my camera here and just scan my computer and it will fill my information. I'll have to type in my password one more time, my master password here. I'll go ahead and type that out and sign in. And I'm gonna press done here. And now everything that I've done on the browser, if I go to all items, everything that I've done here, I've actually did a little bit of more before recording this little section, everything has shown up here. So on the desktop app, on the mobile app, everything you do on the browser, it all syncs together. You don't have to worry about it at all. You don't have to worry about doing something in one device and not translating to the other device. It all communicates. That's all I'm gonna show you on this app for now. 
One password does have a very cool YouTube page and they have dozens of videos there if you have more questions. Again, the link to all the apps are in the description if you wanna click and download individual ones and try the 30 day free subscription. I hope you found this useful. Please give this a like and subscribe to this channel for daily tech videos and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.